What are income producing activities, IPAs? What are they on social media? Are they different when you're prospecting and trying to recruit in your business from social media as if you were running online events or maybe when you're doing at home events? What is the difference? Wouldn't you like to see different results in 2019 from 2018 in your network marketing business? I know when I think back to my business in 2018, even though I had an absolutely incredible year with my network marketing team, I know that I can do better. I want to live my best life. I want to live up to my best potential. So I know that I have to be consistent with my income producing activities and I also have to teach my team to do the same thing. But what I found is, is that most network marketers don't even know what those income producing activities actually are. Here's what I know. If you don't have a plan of action for 2019 when it comes to your income producing activities, you're legit gonna fail. A goal without a plan is just a wish. Have you ever heard that before? I can promise you that when I first got started in network marketing, I had no idea what I was doing. In fact, I made no money. And when I think back to why I wasn't making any money, it's because I was trying to shove income producing activities into one day a week just to justify that I did something. And I always had an excuse of why I wasn't consistent. And I legit can look back and say that that is one of the main reasons that I wasn't making money. It's because I was making excuses and you can't make excuses and money at the same time. Ever heard that one before too? I don't want you to go through two years of not making a dime in your network marketing business. So how can you avoid this? You need a game plan, a plan of action for 2019 launching into the new year of the income producing activities that you should be doing to build your business on social media. What's up healer? My name is Marina Simone. If this is the first time you're seeing my face, what I do is teach busy mompreneurs how to slay online sales by leveraging their personal brand and building their network marketing business on social media. In this episode, I'm going to share with you the income producing activities that I do on a daily basis in order to build my network marketing business on social media. I've built a downline of over 20,000 customers and distributors, so I promise you these IPAs, income producing activities, work if you're consistent. Don't give up and let's get started. All right, we're at the magic board. This is where all the magic is gonna happen. So here I wanna show you what I'm seeing a lot of what's going on on social media right now, where a lot of people, even in my downline, got confused with the difference between attraction marketing and network marketing. So I really wanna go over this with you and show you what the difference is when you're building on social media. Like, what should you be focusing on? Because here's the thing, attraction marketing is not necessarily income producing activities. There's a skill set that's involved when it comes to recruiting and getting new customers into your business. How many of you have legit heard someone in your downline say building online doesn't work? Or they think if they do one live video that they're going to recruit the next rock star. That people are going to be coming to them and saying, I want to join your team. I want to join your team. Here's what I want you to know. That is like 3% of the population. Attraction marketing is a passive way to build trust with your audience. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this. It might be a little bit small, but that's okay. Okay, you're basically, you're building curiosity. So you're building curiosity with your audience, right? What else are we doing, right? We're showing a lifestyle. We're showing a lifestyle, but we're not building deeper relationships with our audience at this point. We're basically, it's a TV show of our life. Okay, so this is attraction marketing, but most people miss that there still is the word action in attraction marketing that we have to take. And that is the network part of network marketing. This is what I want you to understand. The networking piece of network marketing 
That is what's going to build your business. So there's multiple pieces of the networking. This is where the income producing activities really are gonna come in. If you're consistent with the network piece of it, you're doing the network marketing and the attraction marketing together, I promise your business is going to change in 2019. But again, this is where most network marketers are getting stuck. They think if they do just the attraction marketing, they're gonna have new customers, they're gonna have new business builders, their business is gonna freaking explode. But guess what, that's not true, right? So let's come to the network marketing piece of it. The first piece of the network marketing piece of it is the connecting. So what, you did a live video on the attraction marketing. Oh, amazing, I'm so proud of you, congratulations. But are you connecting on a deeper level in your messenger box with these humans? When you can connect with someone, they can start to relate to you. It's gonna drive them back to more attraction marketing, but when you connect and ask questions, you get to find out, hey, is this the type of human that I wanna work with in my business? The second piece, that you need to be doing all the time, and her, is inviting. Are you inviting daily into your business? What do I mean by that? Are you asking, hey, this may or may not be for you, or are you interested in joining? Hey, this may, not, may or may not be for you, or are you interested in taking a look? Once you've built that trust, and you've built curiosity, and you see someone is consistently engaging with you, it's time for you to connect and invite, right? Okay, let's talk about number three. Number three is exposing. This is the presentation. This is the system that you should be following that you have with your company. Are you exposing them to the product and then not exposing them to the business? Are you not upselling? Do you have customers that love your products that you haven't asked if they're interested in doing the business with you yet? exposing daily the inviting and the exposing daily with the people that you've connected with is a big deal for your business the fourth piece the fortune is in the follow-up how many times do we feel like we're a bugaboo because we are over and over again following up with someone we feel like oh i don't want to talk to that person marina I've already followed up with them two times. They've ignored me. Life gets in the way. Who cares if they ignored you? Can you imagine if my upline didn't follow up with me 12 times? I wouldn't be where I am today. I'm so happy he bugged me and he was a bugaboo because my life has changed forever. When you have that belief in the industry, that belief in your product, the belief in your company, Following up is not going to be this tedious thing you have to do. You're going to be excited to follow up with people. So how many people are you following up with a day? And here's the key. If you're not connecting, inviting, or exposing, you have no one to follow up with. So that's why a lot of people get stuck too. Is they're like, well, I already followed up with everybody on my list. Sure you did, boo-boo. That's because you have five people, the same five people, every single one that you're following up with because you haven't been connecting with new humans. You're just doing the attraction marketing piece of it and you're not doing the network marketing piece of it. The fifth piece is closing. Are you ready to get started? From a one to 10, where are you at? If you haven't seen my training that I did on another episode, my 4C closing rule, free training that I did with a free download, then you wanna make sure that you check that out on the 4Cs of closing. You have to ask if they're ready to get started. If you're not doing that and you do all this work and then you're not asking them if they're ready to get started, you're leaving money on the table. Are you asking that simple question, hey, from a one to 10, where are you at? Are you ready to get started? At least five to 10 times a day, I promise you your business will not grow in 2019. And the last piece that we're gonna talk about is tracking. Are you tracking everything you're doing? Are you keeping a notebook of all the new humans you're connecting with? Are you keeping a running list? If you haven't seen the amazing training that I did with my SOS memory jogger, 
okay? Where if you're having like trouble expanding your list, I have my six rule method. I'll put a link down below with a special price for you guys. I think it's like 17 bucks or something where you guys can check out my six rule method of how you can expand your list, turn 100 names into 2,000. So you never run out of people to talk to. But are you tracking what you're doing? Because here's the key. If you don't know who you talked to last week, who do you know to follow up with? It's so important. Now let's move into the income producing activities with social media. What platform should I be on, Marina? Should I be building every single platform that's out there? And I'm gonna show you the different platforms and I'm gonna circle the ones that I think should be a platform you either repurpose on or a platform that you're building on. So first and foremost, I built my downline of 20,000 customers and distributors, I built 85% of that using Facebook. I have also used Instagram. So I would say about 25% of my business has been built on Instagram. I would say that for my brand, about 10% of that has been built on YouTube. So I personally don't see value in Twitter. That's just how I feel, it could be wrong, but connecting with humans on Twitter that are looking for a business opportunity or looking for a product, kind of hard, right? Especially if you're not like a celebrity or an influencer. I will leave that to Kim K, Kim Kardashian and Kylie Jenner. With Snapchat, it's a great way to connect, but watch what I do. I repurpose my Instagram stories to Facebook stories and to Snapchat stories. So I'm repurposing that content. My focus in LinkedIn, I also repurpose. They do now have groups on LinkedIn. However, we haven't gotten started there. Why? Because I have my focus on these two platforms, Facebook and Instagram. So when I say you need to evaluate and track, you also need to see where are the type of humans that you like to hang out with, where are they at? So here's the focus. And this is what I'm gonna talk about as far as income producing activities on these two platforms. Now let's talk about the three very important places that I'm gonna be focusing on for 2019. This could definitely help you on social media, so check this out. When it comes to prospecting for a better 2019, I'm gonna focus on Facebook groups, hashtags on Instagram to follow, and how many people I can connect and compliment with, so compliment and connect, right? We're running that challenge right now inside the free Moms and Heels group. So how many people a day am I gonna do this with? What's my number? So, we'll get into what's my number in a second. Facebook groups. What Facebook groups should I be joining, Marina? Um, uh, pretty simple. Do you watch the TV show, This Is Us? Let's, let's be clear, I don't. I don't watch This Is Us. It's very boo-hoo, not about that, however, there's a lot of people that love this show. If you love this show, you need to find Facebook groups for the show This Is Us because your humans are going to be in that group. How many of you watch Empire? That's where my humans are. Or what about GOT? Game of Thrones, right? I'm obsessed. Khaleesi, she's the ish. Let's just keep that clear. So the Game of Thrones, maybe. Or maybe you're a mom. You find mom groups. Or maybe you live in Las Vegas. Are there Las Vegas groups? What about your local town? Are there local town groups? Are you traveling? So you're traveling to a certain city. Can you sit in there and ask questions? I have how you can stand out on Facebook groups. It's a three-step simple process. It's called my GPS guide to recruiting from Facebook groups. We'll put the link down below for you guys as well. But basically, I'm gonna be focusing on Facebook groups to find and connect and complement with new humans. What about hashtags on IG? Check this out. You can follow hashtags like, I don't know, uh, Target Mom. You can follow hashtags like, uh, this is us, to find your humans. You can follow hashtags of Game of Thrones, Patriot fans, right? Find your people. Follow some hashtags so you can complement and connect with some, no with some new humans on social media.
This is key to following those income producing activities because if you're connecting, then eventually you can invite, expose, ask the question, close, and build your business. Let's talk about the final piece that's gonna bring all of this together for income producing activities to be a better network marketer in 2019. What's your number? How many new connections are you gonna be making daily? New exposures, daily. New follow-ups, daily. I want you to understand something. When we make goals weekly, that has to do with income producing activities, I guarantee you're gonna squish it all into the end of the week and you're not gonna be as productive and it's not gonna be as passionate. You're not gonna make a big impact on people. Instead, you're just doing the do. So I wanna know your daily goals for your income producing activities. And what's your plan? Are you gonna prospect with purpose, build with intention, and be consistent in 2019? Listen, Healer, your business can be completely different by this time next year, but it's up to you to build with purpose, to have a plan, have a game plan, and know where you want to be this time next year. I'll see you inside the free VIP Moms and Heels Facebook group. And don't forget, every single week, there's a brand new episode, brand new training, and free downloads all for you. So make sure you subscribe and you turn the notifications bells on so you never miss a training episode. Feel free to share this with your downline and with your team. Look forward to seeing you next week.